Every potion in Adopt Me and what it does. There's 16 different potions inside of Adopt Me. I'm going to be going and using some of them today to show you what they exactly go and do. And some of these potions I bet you have never heard of before. Starting off with the commons. The big head potion. If you want a life hack to go and get these for pretty much free, simply go and buy the big head cauldron. If you want, go and buy a hundred of them. As you can see, all of my bugs is going to go down. Then you go up to it and press brew a bunch of times. And we're about to go and get like uh, 20 or 30 of these potions completely for free. Now, yes, buying each of these cauldrons costs you 200 bucks. It does take 45 seconds to brew each potion. But the good thing is that Adopt Me has a tool where it says sell for full price. So after we've gone and done that, we're going to go and sell all of these for full price to then go and get the potion for pretty much free. And the good news is that these potions actually stay in your inventory forever and you get to keep them. So we're gonna take the potion and then sell it for full price. Then you can just press take on all of these potions and I'm gonna end up with a bunch of completely free potions. Now all I need to do is go and click on all of these and press sell. As you can see, I'm going and getting the full price for each one of these. And it's pretty simple as long as you line up all of those things and voila. Now we have a big head potion. Let's go and drink one of these. I actually have 94 big head potions by doing that. And as you can see, it kind of does what you'd expect it to do. It gives you a big head. So as you can see, my head has now probably doubled in size. It's about the same size as my whole body. That's how big of a head I've got by using this potion. You can't actually go and stack these potions, which you can with the next potion I'm going to show you. The Hyper Speed Potion. You can go and repeat the exact same piece of advice that we just did for the big head potion with hyper speeds. Or if you are extremely bored and you don't want to do that, you can go and buy these from the Sky Castle. I definitely don't recommend doing this as it will cost you so much more bucks compared to the technique that literally gives it to you for free. Speaking of free, make sure to like this video and subscribe for a chance to win your dream pet completely for free. So if you want to go and pick up the hyperspeed potion, you can purchase it for 40 bucks in here. Or you can go and buy the big head potion that we just got completely for free for 10 bucks. Now, what is this potion, the hyperspeed potion? Well, it kind of is exactly what it says it is. Once you drink it, it makes you start running faster. So let's go and do a little bit of a comparison. So let's go and grab ourselves some more hyper, as I believe it or not, you can stack them. So the more potions you drink, the faster you will run. I'm not sure what the maximum amount of these are, but we can definitely see an increase in how fast we are running by going and using these potions. I, I wonder how many we can drink. I'm going to drink all of these. I don't know if I'm going to become the world's fastest adopt me player possible. I hope so. I really hope so. Look at this. This is extremely fast. I'm not sure when you need this for, to be honest. I guess if you're like trying to age up all of your pets at once and you want to get from one place to the other, then it's very quick at running now, I guess, which is kind of cool. So yeah, if you want to run from one place to another, then using these potions is pretty good. The next potion is an anti-gravity potion. And I just so happen to have 28 of these. So let's actually go and drink one of them and find out what happens when you drink it. Drink more anti-gravity potions for a stronger effect. Okay, so now when I jump, as you can see, it kind of makes you go really high into the sky. It gives you the opposite of gravity, anti-gravity. Now, I'm pretty sure if you go into the rare section, there is an item called Mystical Object. This costs you 4,000 bucks, but it goes and does the exact same thing. When you activate it, it goes and makes you also jump really high. So I'm not sure if it actually stacks. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. When you turn it on, it's actually making me jump less than when it's turned off. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be selling this. I wouldn't say it's worth the 4,000 bucks 
but you can just simply buy an anti-gravity cauldron to go and grow your own anti-gravity potions. This cauldron does cost you 3,000, so let's drink a few and see how high we can jump. So this is what it's like with uh, two potions. I wonder what it's like with three potions. Can I jump on top of this? Oh, I nearly can. Maybe I can do it with four potions. So let's drink another potion and see how high we can go. I wonder what the maximum amount is. And there we go. Yeah, I'm nearly um, got a big enough jump to land on top of this, which is definitely interesting. I'm not sure who needs to be able to jump this high, but we're going to drink another one anyway. I want to know how high can we go. There we go. We made it. We have that big of a jump that we can just jump and it looks like I'm flying. All right, I wonder what happens if I drink more, okay? I've, I want to find out what the the highest you can jump is. So that's about on height with the ice cream. Let's drink another one. This is for science. How high can we go above the ice cream? Another one. All right, I wonder when it maxes out. It would be good if it told you how many. Oh my God, even higher. We've just touched the water level. Let's drink another one and see if we can go higher than the water level um yeah so this is definitely crazy i think it don't we should definitely say how many you have drunk because then it will like make it easier to know but bro what i am i didn't know you could drink this many i'm gonna drink a bunch more i wonder if it'll tell me that i've drunk too many so let's drink a few more of these maybe we'll drink all 20 in case you want to know what uh, wasting that many potions <laughs> looks like well you're in for a treat because i mean you can just get these again for free using the cauldron but there we go um we have drunk a lot <gasps> why is it making jump less i drank so many that it's what you guys see this i drank so many that it then reset it all right, that's strange. I think Adomi should definitely clarify how that one works. The next potion is a snowflake potion, which is an extremely rare potion, everyone. So when you drink this potion, it just gives you some little snowflakes around your character. Honestly, it doesn't do much. It doesn't give you any bonuses. It just gives you these little particles of tiny little snowflakes around your avatar. So if you ever manage to get a snowflake potion at all costs, do not drink it because it's extremely valuable. A teleportation potion. I actually have one of these and let's go and search it. So teleportation potion, I'm gonna use it. I don't know what happens if I use this. I think if I accidentally click it, it might not work, but I'm gonna test it, please. Okay, this is what it says. Instructions. Drink to teleport to the nursery or home. Your choice. Use is left. One. This is such a pointless item. Teleport to the nursery or home. Why would I do that? When I can just click pets. Teleport to the nursery. This is the most pointless potion to ever exist say you want to teleport home press reset character and it will teleport you home that potion is pointless again if you ever get that potion at all costs do not drink it at all um it's a lot rarer to just trade it honestly trust me the next potion is a heart potion have you ever heard of a heart potion? Because I imagine a lot of you have never heard of it. So this potion originally cost you 15 bucks and it came out at a Valentine's update. That's right, I don't mean used to do updates for Valentine's Day, but they discontinued that because I guess they don't want to celebrate Valentine's Day, which is definitely interesting. And very similar to how the snowflake one works, it just gives you some little love heart particles next to your avatar, nothing special. The next potion is the Cure All Potion. I'm pretty sure you all know what this one is. So this potion used to be extremely rare and difficult to get your hands on as it originally came out of an advent calendar in like 2020. But then Adopt Me decided to add it back into the game by just going and doing tasks. Like you can get a Cure All Potion by doing one of these tasks which kind of made them lose so much value which i was so sad about 
because I traded a lot of legendaries to get these and then they were like, yeah, we're just going to give them to you for free. Anyway, Cure All Potion, what it does is it will cure all of your pet's tasks at once. So as you can see, I have four tasks and it says drink this to cure all the needs such as hunger and boredom. So we got four tasks Did that work. Press drink, feed pet. There we go. My pet's about to drink it. Four tasks. It should go and complete them all at once and probably give me like 50 bucks at the same time. So yeah, it says I just got eight bucks for it being well rested. All of the tasks are complete. I got 10 bucks for not being thirsty. We got 18 bucks for enjoying the pizza party. So yeah, it gives you all of it. And then we also got a bath plus 12 bucks. So it did give me all of the bucks and it increased the pet's age or the pet's friendship level. So um, I wouldn't recommend, again, using these. If I was you, I'd keep hold of them and try and trade them as they are still actually pretty valuable items. The growth potion. I'm pretty sure the only way to obtain this potion is by purchasing it. So let's see if I even have one of these spare. I don't know. I actually have seven of them. Okay, shall I use it? Go on then, it's for the video. We wanna know what the growth potion does. All right, so this is my normal size and we're gonna go and drink it and see how much bigger we get. Whoa, I'm like double. <laughs> okay, I knew it would be big, but I, I forgot how big that it would actually make me. So we're gonna go and uh, stand next to some other players for a size comparison. Like. These are regular players, and this is how big I am now, and you can run on people. It's kind of funny how big this is. Uh, yeah, I literally just squished these people. <laughs> Sorry, guys, running through. Don't mind me. Just squishing everyone because you're all small. Yeah, so the growth potion, uh, it does make you pretty big. And if you're bored, you know what you can do? Get a big head potion and drink it with the growth potion. And then, bro, look how big I am. Look how big I am now. That's going to confuse so many players. Um, in case you've ever seen someone who looks double the size. Like, they're probably... Yeah, I'm probably double their size. That's how you get it. Uh, you need the growth potion. Alright, let's go back into the foods and search potions to see which ones are left. The age up potion. All right, I'll demonstrate what the age up potion does. Let's go and grab ourselves a pet that we want to go and use. So we're gonna go and grab ourselves a Christmas pudding pup, and then we're gonna go and grab ourselves the age up potion. So as you can see, it is a newborn currently. If we press feed and give it the age up potion, what this does it goes and obviously ages your pet up. So it was a newborn with about two sections. And now my pet is actually aged all the way up to pre-teen, which is kind of fun. We can use them as many times as you want. I don't actually know how many you need to make a pet that's ultra rare full grown. So let's test this out again. It's pre-teen, it's gonna drink it. You can see it go up all the way to teen. There we go. Pretty cool feature. And to get these, you um you only get them from lures. I mean, you might actually get them from other things, such as like doing tasks or the advent calendars, but you mostly get them by going and opening up pet lures. So what is next? The big brew potion and a small sip potion. All right, these are all in the same area. To go and get these again, you will need to fly. Um, as you can see, this looks so funny. Like, I'm so much bigger than my pet. The proportions just look so wrong that my character is literally a giant in comparison to my pet. It's kind of funny. Anyway, what we want to go and do is get something that will make our pets either big or small, um, just like me. So, growth potions were 400 bucks. Whoa, that's expensive. Okay, so a translucent tea is 600 bucks. Wow, a small sip potion is 250, and a big brew is 350. Wow, I had no clue that they were that expensive. But let's go and have a look at what some of these do. I believe I should have some. So I've got some translucent teas, five of them, and these are what? 600 bucks each? That's crazy. 
So if we were to go and feed this to my pet, let's go and do that right now, actually. So it's uh, it's currently normal, and we're going to see what happens. You ready? It's now translucent. Honestly, I don't know why you'd want to do this. Someone please tell me, is that good or not? <laughs> I guess if you want your pet to kind of look like a ghost, then yeah, it does exactly that. And uh, the same for the small or the big potion. It would either make your pet bigger or smaller. So let's go and use the small sip potion and uh, actually feed that to the pet. So here we go. This is its current size. We can see it shrink. Are you ready? It's going to go small. Hey, shrinks. All right. As you can see, it does say it lasts only for 10 minutes, which is a shame that it doesn't last long. And then underneath the pet, it will say temporarily translucent and uh, temporarily small. It tells you how many minutes are left on it, which is kind of handy. It'll let you know. So those minutes only decrease when the pet is equipped. So every second you have the pet equipped, it will go and decrease. It won't like decrease while it's in your inventory. So you don't need to worry about that. The water walking potion. I think this one kind of explains it for itself. But when you go and use this potion, it lets you walk on water. This is an image of what it actually looks like when you drink the potion. It gives you all of these kind of watery particles around you and you can simply walk on top of water. Again, such an extremely strange potion. And it originally cost 80 bucks. I mean, I guess at any point, Adomic could be like, yeah, we're gonna go and remove these because that's what they did with the water walking potion. It used to be for sale in an area like this in the Sky Castle, and then they just removed it because they didn't like it anymore, which is uh, very, very interesting. And what is left on the list? The Levitation Potion. Okay, we're going to save that one to last, but we have a Fly Potion and a Ride Potion. A Ride Potion, when you click on it, allows you to ride the pet. These are both Robux things. Riding doesn't allow you to go up and down. It just stays at the floor level. Flying, however, allows you to stay at the floor level or go up into the sky as if you are flying. Wait, there's a person up here? I didn't know that. Why does everyone keep calling me crazy? Um, I guess you learn something new every day and adopt me. Fly and a ride potion uh, obviously just lets you fly the pets about. The levitation potion is an ultra rare potion that was in the sky castle for 995 bucks. It was removed in 2021 when the sky castle was renovated. I can't believe that it was that long ago that they changed the sky castle. That's crazy. Also, that's a very expensive potion. It kind of does exactly what you think it would do. Um, when you use it, it would kind of give you a cloud underneath you. People used to use this to make people think that they had like a fly pet. And what it looked like was just this. It was just a cloud. And that's pretty much all it does. Again, if you get one of these, I wouldn't recommend using it because they're just so valuable. And people will trade you lots of legendaries. If you ever get your hands on a levitation potion, then let me know. Click here to see every Adopt Me Pets box and its pets. If you liked this video, you're going to love this one. Click here to watch.